I've always loved to get a job engraved if it's appropriate. It's not a technique that we often get to use as designers. It's something you can feel. You can feel the printer, which is awesome. The process of engraving is an intaglio process. The image is etched out of the copper or metal steel die, and ink is transferred to the die, and then the excess ink is wiped off, and the ink remains in the image area. Paper goes between the die and the counter. It's pushed into the paper slightly to remove the ink from the die. So the ink becomes a raised surface on the paper because it's transferring quite a bit of of material to the surface of the paper. The design is based on, um, I, I have a collection of stocks and bonds and vintage, I have a lot of uh, ephemera, vintage ephemera and a currency collection. And I wanted to put them together in a currency, you know, kind of way to make a statement about engraving. If you look at the back of a dollar bill, the back side is printed green, one color. The front side is printed black on that uh, beautiful paper. And when I was talking with Allison, she mentioned this sawgrass paper, which is about the same color as, the, as currency paper. So if you put a dollar bill down on this piece, it, it practically blends in. The piece was pushing the envelope in terms of the width of the image. It required some skill just to make sure that we printed that successfully. Not to mention the, the detail of the, of the illustration as well. Challenging. <laughs> Pushing the envelope. I hid uh, some images in here just to see what would happen. They're kind of random, but I put some bees in. I'm a beekeeper, so there's a few bees buzzing around. My birth date is in there. There's just little bits and pieces everywhere. So I totally expected to be, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that. Can you erase that? But, but very little. I wasn't asked to remove anything. <laughs> the Illustration being such a fine line, we wanted to use special inks to stamp that, a different type of ink um, that we determined would allow us to capture that detail. But the bolder areas of the typography and the image itself required a little variation in that ink, more opacity, so we broke those out into separate dyes. The highlight of this project, I think, I think it's right now. Designers go on press checks, go to the printers, it's always the most exciting moment because you've been working on a piece, the design gets approved, it goes through revisions, you're working with the client, the copy, and the, you know, it takes a, a long time. And so right now, half an hour ago, the ink hit the paper for the last time, which is, that's the most exciting. Everything just tied together. And the balance was there, the color balance, the quality of the image was refined to a great extent and everything just came together very nicely here so uh, i'm very very happy with this if you send a piece out to a printer and you're kind of cringing like are, are they really going to be able to do this it's probably a good thing because if you push printers and push your substrates or inks or whatever push the paper to its limits, you might be surprised on how, how far you can go.